Good morning, Ivan. Hi, Ivan, can you hear me? Hola, hi, hi. Hey, hi. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? Happy hey. to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once again, okay, welcome to the class once again. Nice, very good. Elena is here too. Hi, yeah. Elena and Araceli. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. to your class. How are you, Araceli? Relaxed? Uh, yes. Oh, nice. Did you have breakfast already? No, right? Uh, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's very early. Huh? So you have breakfast after the class, Araceli? Uh, yes. Ah, okay, very good. So you are you, you eat your your beans, eggs. I remember you told me once your favorite food is uh, for breakfast. Beans, beans eggs, eggs, bread. Uh -huh, okay, Salvadorian, very Salvadorian. Yes. Excellent. Tamales. Tamales. Uh huh. What's your favorite kind of tamales? Uh, elote. The uh, corn. Oh. No corn. Yes. With with and beans the, or the, with no beans. Yes, yes, I like. Oh, you like it? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm fried. <laughs> yes, it's true. Very, very brown. <laughs> very fried with cream. <laughs> so, Araceli, we have the same, the same, the same likes for tamales. Good, nice. Okay. Ivan is here, Elenita. Hello, Elenita. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Morning. How are you, Lenita? Good. Good. Oh, good. nice to hear that. Very good. How How are your kids? Um, are they sleeping? Uh, one One day. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uno de ellos. Is, one of is them. Sleep. One of them. Mm -hmm. One of them is sleeping. Oh, really? And the other. Uh, the other. <laughs> is the playing. Room. Oh, really? Okay, great, very good. But thank God they are they are safe and they are healthy. Huh? That's important. That they are yeah. very very healthy. My baby is sleeping right now. Mm -hmm. oh. She is on bed. I was I was like you know walking like this on tip <laughs> because she can't get up. Uh huh. Nice. Okay. Very good. And Ivan is here. Okay. Ivan, I hope you feel better. Okay. And you are here in our class ready to participate. Okay. That's it. I have a question, Elena. You're married, right? You have the kids. And Araceli, what about you? Yes. Are you single or married, Araceli? Or, or children? Uh, I... <clears throat> I, I I married. Okay, very good. Because I have a topic for today about married people. <laughs> <laughs> so you are going to help me. Huh? You're going to help me to give me your opinions. Okay. And Ivan, no, Ivan, I don't think so. I remember. Oh, Francisco told me. Married single. or single, Ivan? Single, single. Ah, single. Okay. With no kids. No kids. No, <laughs> okay. no kids. No single. <laughs> No kids, nothing, no compromises. <laughs> no compromise. Okay, good. Okay. Exa, good morning. How are you, Exa? Good morning. Good morning. morning. Fine. Fine, better from, you know, getting over from your dog's loss? Yes. Yes, yes okay. Yes, yes. Do you know where your dog is? Uh, no, exactly, but I meet the person the person mm -hmm. and they have uh, other dogs so. ah, okay okay well uh, fortunately they are in good hands right yes. yes okay very nice Sophie is here too okay welcome Sophie to the class my friends what are we gonna do today today well the topic for today is um a little bit similar to what we started yesterday okay talking about describing festive festivities or uh, holidays or special days okay yesterday we learned do you remember what we learned yesterday araceli can you tell me please 
What did we learn yesterday? What did we practice? Um, I I remember. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? Maybe Elena can help you. Okay. Uh huh. I will give you. I will give you some some hints. Festivals, descriptions. Uh huh. Elena, do you remember? Uh -huh. Ah, Araceli. Okay, tell me. Tell me the answer. <laughs> but I don't remember the name. No worry, but, but you, is, the, um, the, 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 the word that you would that we use for describing, what is it? Uh, is um remember we said Mother's Day is the day. And we use uh we use a a, a, a a relative word. What is it? Exa. Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What is it, Exa? When. When. Uh -huh. This is the one that we used yesterday. When. Okay. For example, Araceli, when you say Christmas is the day when, okay, people in El Salvador eat tamales. Okay. Uh, Franklin did another example, right? Mother's Day is a day, it's a special day when people give gifts, flowers, chocolates, or special dinners to mothers, right? This is what we did yesterday, okay? I remember also we did like um, Halloween. I had a very funny example. Halloween is the day when the women... <laughs> what is it, Exa? Uh, Halloween is the day when some girl Mm -hmm. We're well, like nice. a bit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> exactly. Well, that's a description, you know, we use when, right? Okay, so today we're going to go over, okay, a new topic, okay? It's similar, it's similar, but we're going to use other words, not only when, okay? So remember, we use that for descriptions, right? This is like a... Um, just to refresh your memory, okay? This is like just like a... a, a a little example of, of what you can do, okay? We have three pictures. We have these pictures representing the celebrations, okay? Um, I will ask, okay, uh, some of you to read this. Okay, I have three, three paragraphs, right? We we'll start with Sophie. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning. Good morning, Sophie, okay? Can you read the number one, please? My favorite holiday. Okay, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. It's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. My whole family gets together and our, at our house. I always cook a large turkey. Okay, very good. I always cook a large turkey, okay? Thanksgiving, so what is the picture that this paragraph is representing? What is the picture? A, B, or C? B. B, B. Uh -huh, very good. What can you see in the picture B, Franklin? What can you see in the picture B? Describe mm. the picture, Franklin. Turkey. turkey. It's a turkey, very good. Turkey and what do we have around the turkey? An apple. Apples, excellent. Uh -huh. And also this is? Rice. Um, oh, rice, uh -huh. very good, very good. So rice you cantonese. see, rice, ah, cantonese, <laughs> <laughs> Chinese, <laughs> a combination for all the cultures, right? Okay, <laughs> and around you have the other side, you can see the tamales, right? And that would be the Thanksgiving in El Salvador, right? Salvador and <laughs> tamales and everything. Good, very good. Then we continue, okay. Elenita, can you please read the second one? February 14th. Uh, February 14th is the day when people give care and present to the one they love. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to Valentine's Day or right have a gift for my friend. 
Okay, very, very good. Valentine's Day. I remember Illy said yesterday she celebrates Valentine's Day, right, Illy? Do you celebrate it, Illy? No. No, right? No. no. Who said yesterday? Do you remember who mentioned Senia? Senia. Right? See? <laughs> to the boyfriend, uh, other one. <laughs> I don't like chocolate. You don't like chocolate? So, nah. what's your favorite present? Franklin, what do you prefer for February for things? Uh, I like the number 14. <laughs> <laughs> 14 cookies for you, uh -huh. 14 kisses. <laughs> mm. ah, okay, oh my God, you don't like chocolates, wow. No, no. And you, Exa? Do you like uh, Valentine's Day? Uh, the specific day, no, but I like the gift. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, very good. That's it. What kind of gifts do you usually give in this date, Exa, for your girlfriend? Uh, chocolate is the common gift, but I prefer pizza, tacos. <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, similar good. to Teacher Iris. Good, excellent. Similar to Teacher Iris. Don't give me flowers, <laughs> give me tacos. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, it's more delicious. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay. The third one. Okay, the New Year's Eve. This is for my friend Ivan. Please, Ivan, read the number three. New Year's Eve. 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 Uh -huh. Eve, Eve is night when I have fun with my friends. We usually have a big party, we stay, we stay up at night and then go out for breakfast in the morning. In the morning, very good, okay. Look at this phrasal verb, we stayed up, stayed yeah. up guys in these cases, okay, when you don't sleep at night and you are 10, 11, 12, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. and you are stayed up. Okay, yeah. ah, about five or four a.m. you go to sleep, right? This is stayed up, okay? Not to sleep, but to be active, watching TV, playing, reading, or doing whatever, okay? That's it. This is the other one. Do you celebrate New Year's? How do you celebrate New Year's, right? Uh, Juan Carlos, do you celebrate New Year's? Uh, yes, I celebrate New Year's. Great. How do you celebrate it, Juan Carlos? Mm, I celebrate with my family. Mm -hmm. I we have we have a, a dinner and I okay. and we have and sometimes I go out. We are, and we go out. Really? You go out to, to parties or, or to Georgia? No, I, we visit my family. Very good. In, in, El, in San Salvador or in other departments? Uh, in Morazan. Ah, in Morazan, okay. Oh, you travel a lot. Okay, yes. yeah, nice Juan Carlos, very good, okay, that's it, so you see, those are some other traditions, okay, that we have here related to new, okay, for, for the festival, so holidays, right, New Year's, Halloween, so remember guys, when you, okay, want to describe what is the structure that you have to use, Ili, do you remember the structure that you have to use for describing events? The day of celebration. The date, uh -huh. uh, plus verb mm -hmm. and plus relative. Plus the relative time. clause. Oh, and what is the relative clause? What is the word that you when. use? When, excellent, okay, that's it. Tuesday, okay, Tuesday 13th is the day when a lot of people in El Salvador are curious about because people say that is the 13th, 
So they are superstitious, right? <laughs> so everybody's like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the description here. Now we're gonna go over another celebration. Ah, a special day. Do you remember the most special day in your life, Carlita Joana? What is the most special day in your life? Good morning. Uh, Good morning. I, I don't have one special because I have a lot, uh, many days. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> choose one, two. Well, tell me two, the ones that are the three top special days that you will never forget. Uh, my first day in the world and my first work. Ah, okay. Second and one? And the day we married. Ah, when you married, uh -huh, you got married. And the number yeah. three? <laughs> uh, well, okay, uh, don't tell me this is private. Uh. <laughs> okay, no, don't worry. <laughs> okay, okay, no, okay. can I can I know the number three? No, no, this is yeah, well, yeah okay, tell me. I, uh, when I visit the other country, ah, okay, the first time you visited the other country, good, participate singer. Oh, in the school, in the high school. Excellent, very good. And you are international, huh? Okay, yes. great, very good, Carlita. Okay, so she mentioned three activities, okay? Three, uh, well, no activities, but, uh, special dates, right? What about you, Itzel? What is one of the most special uh, events in your life? Um. Uh, maybe it, huh? my my birthday ah, your birthday okay yes. very good um, that's nice other other day um when my daughter was born uh, yes <laughs> mm -hmm. repeat when my daughter was born Born. When my daughter was born. Excellent. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> that is something that you will never forget. Is there any other, other, other? No? Yes. When when I I married. Ah, when I got repeat, when I got married. When I got married. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. With the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, very nice. Excellent. Okay. So, you know, this, okay, is going to be focused. This topic is going to be focused a little bit on this. All right. And I know that some of you are married, some others are not. Okay. So, that's what I have this question. What is this question? Okay, Exa, read it. Will you get married? Will you get married? Okay. Ask Sophie, please. Sophie, answer this question, please, with all your, all your sincerity. Sophie, would you get married? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sophie. Why not, Sophie? I don't believe in that. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you have a reason, huh? You have a reason. Okay, Sophie has a Francisco. Francisco, will you get married? No. <laughs> Francisco, tell me why, Francisco. I don't believe in this institution. No, uh, it's, it's a broma. <laughs> a broma. No. You're kidding. Oh, oh you believe. Mm. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, I got confused. You believe or you don't believe? I believe, but it's not for me. <laughs> for others. <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally. It's for, for others. Okay, very good. Ili. Ili is married, right, Ili? Okay. Do you have children, Ili? No, right? No, I don't have. No, okay. It says here, Ili. I have another question for you, Ili. Yeah. Read the question. What are the good and bad aspects of being married? Okay. Give me one and give me one, one good and one bad. One good uh... <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey no come on we are thinking the same <laughs> when good is do a lot of uh, 
uh, things together. Okay, uh -huh. to share, mm -hmm. right? Activities. To share, compare. Mm -hmm. and something to bad, share, compare. something bad, really. Uh, I cook. <laughs> ah, to cook for other. <laughs> <laughs> to cook for other person okay 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 very good very good okay let me ask another married woman here okay uh, elena help me elena with this this question tell me something tell me something good Eli, about being married tell me a, a good aspect okay of being married and then you are you're gonna share right Okay, tell me um, one, one good aspect. Joanna is gonna tell me one bad aspect. Uh -huh. A good aspect. Um, uh, I. Um, <laughs> I had a uh, uh, somebody. Uh, uh, we I. I love. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Uh -huh. You have um, company too, right? And company, yes. Um, it is is much. Um, it is much ma more formal. It's more uh, formal. A relation. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Um, very good, Elena. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, to um. um because God, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, God blessed. Bendi una bendición. Uh, blessed. Sí. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Blessed. Blessed the, 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 new, the new home, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. You know, this is something important. You have company. You are not alone. Like, like Michael mm -hmm. Jackson said, you are not alone. <laughs> Similar, okay. Very good, Elena. Now, Carlita Joanna is going to tell me the bad aspect. Because um, merit is not just oh, very positive. <laughs> there are good no. and bad things. Uh -huh. uh, first, the good thing is the he is support for me. Okay, he is a support for you. Great. Yes. And bad, bad as, aspect is I take care all day. <laughs> You take care of, of, of him. Okay. They, they are like uh, children, right? What? Sometimes they behave like children. You have to, hey, be careful with them. You don't do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. That's it. Okay. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Karen, okay. are you single or married, Karen? I'm married. You, are you married, Karen? Yes. Oh. <laughs> When, when did you get married? Do you remember when? Ooh, long time ago. How long ago? Uh, 11 years. Oh, my Lord. Really? Yes. 10 years. Wow. Where did you get married? Do you but, I, but I feel like if I was, if, if. Like if it was yesterday. <laughs> That's correct. That's oh, really? Correct. Okay. Honeymoon forever. Yes. Oh, that's good. depend of, of the man that you choose. That is exactly. Okay. Yes. That it depends and on I, the I, man that I you happy. choose. So you yes. chose good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. You see, you took the Brad Pitt I was looking for. <laughs> you, it was already taken. <laughs> okay. Yes. Karen, where did you get married? Do you remember? Um, John... 27th? Uh -huh. June 27th? No, uh, where? Uh, where? 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 Church. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah. Did, you have a, did you have a party after the ceremony? Yes. Mm. I have. Uh, uh, mm, not not um, a big, a big party. Okay. It wa was more um, intimate. For close family. Yes. Ah, oh, great. Okay, very good. Very good. Did you dance the vals? No, I can't. Only, ah, only okay. the vals. <laughs> because with my, with my husband. Yes. 
<laughs> mm, can your husband dance? No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Very good. Nice. Okay. So that, that, that he that he chose me because uh, he don't have to to learn to dance. Learn how to dance. <laughs> Okay, good company. Okay, very nice, Karen. Thank you very much. Carlita Beatriz, hello. Hi, Carlita Hi, teacher. Beatriz. Hello. Morning. Hello, morning. Tell me, Carlita Beatriz, do you remember some uh, things that you did when you got married? Um, that I did. Mm -hmm. Like some kind of, uh, I don't know, costumes? You remember mm. throwing rice and beans um, to the couple to dance well, the dolls. I I remember that I I dance mm -hmm. mm -hmm. dancing um, uh, with a batucada. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, with my nice. with my my family and friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it was was nice okay nice. Very good. <laughs> you know from family to family from culture to culture getting married has different you know like uh, customs right different yes. things today we're gonna go over this and but we're gonna focus a little bit in the japanese marriage okay would you like to get married in japan no uh, exa for example would you like to get married in japan there with your girlfriend with a could Japanese. Be. Could be, right? Could be could a be. Japanese culture. Okay. In color black, very black, you have the wedding traditions. Okay. Let's start with the number one. Franklin, please read the number one. You know or you know? What is this? And tell me if it is similar to El Salvador or not. Franklin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the engagement, mm -hmm. Pedro Sal, uh -huh. ceremony or juino involves the meeting of the two families and the exchange of gifts. Okay, very good. This is the first tradition, the Yuino. And what is the Yuino? It's when two families, the family of the woman and the family of the men, exchange mm -hmm. presents, gifts. That would be good. <laughs> do we do this in El Salvador? No, in El Salvador, no. Only in Japan. <laughs> Only Japan, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. not in El Salvador. I don't think so, but uh -huh. I never exchange presents. Okay, second one. Okay, the second one. Giovanni, good morning. Can you please read the second one, Jova? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, wedding are usually held in the Shinto, Shinto style. style. Very good. Shinto. Shinto is like a kind of a church. Okay, they have in Japan. Continue, please, uh, Jova. Okay. Most traditionally, a Japanese couple, couple, couple will hold their wedding in Toshinto mm -hmm. style in a, sh a shrine. Shrine. Uh -huh. shrine. Very good. It's in a like a temple. Okay, it's not a church, it's a temple. Okay, what about in El Salvador? Do we get married in the Shinto style? <laughs> no, right? What do you think? Ili, did you get married in the Shinto style? Uh, no. No, right. Where is, is a, uh -huh. a, a church? Mm -hmm. And a normal church, right? And a normal church. Yes, okay, very good, very good. Read Lily, the number three, please. The couple wears a range of outfits. Uh, the couple wears a range of out of outfits. A couple of outfit change are expect especially for brides. Generally, in a traditional wedding, but members of the couples will wear traditional kimonos. Mm -hmm. Brooms usually wear monsuki, 
which is a formal kimono in black. In black, okay, very, very good. Here you say, guys, grooms, tell novio, grooms, okay, the grooms, but novio, no, ay, hello, teacher, come, I, let me introduce my groom. No, this is the boyfriend when you have a relationship, but in the church, the day when you are getting married, the name of the man is groom, okay? That's it. And bride is a woman, okay? So, do we wear a lot of kind of clothes in the wedding? Okay, at the beginning, the dress. Then in the middle of the ceremony, you change the, your, your clothes. At the end, you change your clothes. And for going to the honeymoon, another clothes. Do we do this in El Salvador? Do we change? A lot of outfits in El Salvador in a wedding. What do you think? No. No. No, yeah. right? Only the, the dress? The dress. <laughs> uh -huh. Only the dress, I think. Some other people, maybe they have an extra, an extra dress. Okay. Very good. Next, we have purification. Okay. Purification. That's it. This is for, a, let me see, Gabby. Hello, Gabby. Purification. Read purification, please. Okay. Purification. Before the nuptial cups, the couples is purified, meaning that the exercise of evil spirit. Oh, do we have this in El Salvador, Gabby? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have purification before the wedding? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Depends, right? If you visit a chaman. <laughs> <laughs> for limpia. Yeah, for limpia. For a cleaning. Uh -huh. a cleaning. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a tradition in, Can in, in, in Japan, right? The purification. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Then, okay, we have this one. Okay. The other one is the Shuki Bukuro. Exa, can you please go over the reading? Shuki Bukuro. If you attend a Japanese wedding reception, this it is expected that you are to bring a cash gift in an envelope. Call it Shuki Bukuro. Your name is to be writing on the front of the envelope and handed to the person at the reception prior. Prior, prior, prior. to the signing, signing. The signing the guest book. Guests typically give an average of 30,000 uh -huh. yen, Gens. which is about 315. No way. Can you imagine $350 for a wedding? Can you give this money? No. In an envelope? <laughs> no. How no. much do we give? Uh -huh. Tell me. Be honest. <laughs> I give $5. <laughs> 50. But I don't write the name of my name. In. <laughs> $15. 15. 15. Uh -huh. 15. Ivan, Ivan, what do you think? What is your, your average? Um... 20, 25 dollars. 20, 25, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, Sophie, when you are invited to a wedding and this envelope, aha. Uh -huh. mm, my parents give the present. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents, okay, that's it. Okay, good. Ah, the pants, teacher. For Giovanni's wedding, I'm going to give 50. Ah. <laughs> All right, Giovanni. Uh. Okay. Yeah, never. <laughs> Give me the fifty dollars to meet it. Dollar fifty. <laughs> okay, this is a shoey. Yes. Teacher, for this for this reason in Japan is very serious. Uh, get to marry. Yes, it's not just like I'm gonna get married and in uh, six months yes. I'm gonna get divorced. Tomorrow, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, Carlita, it's true. In Japan, they have really real, real, you know, ceremonies, okay, with ancestors and everything, okay? So, these are some, okay, well, the, the different traditions that we have here. I am introducing this because uh, then we have uh, some examples taken from this, okay? The last one is favors, okay? Favors are not favores, okay? Be careful with the meaning, okay? Itzel, can you please read? Favors. Son los regalos que uno da de, 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 de la ceremonia, right? Los, um, in Spanish, how do we say this? 
the little presents that you give to the people who go the to recuerdo. the center. Recuerdo, thank you very much. Okay, favors, okay? It's favors, a favors in Japan are called haikido mono, <laughs> which is also called uh, wending souvenirs. Mm -hmm. Come on, Wendy, favors include sweets. Sake. Uh, sake uh, cups. These are and, like tacitas para sake. Sake is a kind of tea that you. Okay, it's como, it's a liquor. Uh -huh. Yes, Japan. liquor. And, uh -huh. yes. and tableware. Tableware, so very uh -huh. good. And teles, and stuff like that. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, in recent time, uh, trend has emerged. Uh, what is uh, emerge? Emerge. Uh -huh. uh, where guests can choose gifts from a catalog. A catalog? Can you imagine the guests? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm in Dalila's wedding. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver el catalog de Dalila. <gasps> yes, it's similar when when the the. <laughs> A person choose the siman. Exactly. Give uh -huh. uh -huh. the gifts. Uh -huh. But this is my friend. This is a. This is not a. Um, this is not itself from the guest to the wedding couple. No, it's the couple uh -huh. giving favors to the guests. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Japanese okay. couple. <laughs> Japanese couples usually spend uh, 40 uh, to 90, 90 dollars on okay on uh, dollars on favor for their guests. Can you imagine 40 or 90 dollars on favors for their guests? Right, that's it. Good. In El Salvador, we have favors. Uh, do we have favors in El Salvador? Did you give favors in your wedding, in your ceremony? No. Mm, yes. Uh, um. Some people. Lo uh, hace. Uh -huh. Do it. Do it. Uh -huh. yes. Very good. Uh -huh. uh, what are some common favors that we have? Let's see. What are we, the common favors that we have uh, in ceremonies that couples give to the to the guests? Uh, something curious for me was a a, 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 a glass of sand. <laughs> yeah. I was invited to go to the the, 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 the the beach for a wedding, and they gave me a glass full of sand, uh, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with some rocks, they're color white, and that's it. It says, uh, thank you for being in my wedding, or blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know, that was the most strange, right? Uh -huh. That's it, okay. Some people give cook uh, uh, candies, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chocolates. Chocolates, uh-huh, Chocolate. for flavors, uh-huh, or, or some little plastic, plastic uh, uh, people. Uh, the groom and the bride together, right? Okay, that's it. So you see, traditions. For describing these guys, for describing all these um, traditions or special occasions, we use the adverbial clauses. So time, don't worry about the time. The, 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 sorry, don't worry about the name, okay? That's like, what is that, teacher? Hoy vamos a usar esto, miren, repeat, please. Before. 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 After. 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 As. 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 When. 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 While. Why. Until. 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 As soon as. As soon as. as, soon as. as. Things. 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 As long as. As long as. You see, I don't know if you have problems with the definitions before, you know, before, before and after, right? Okay. Oh. When I was a kid, ah, that's before. Okay. In 2021, ah, that's after. Okay. As, okay. What is the meaning of us? Do you remember? As. Like. Like. Okay. Very good. Uh huh. Okay. 
is a synonym for like. When, well, you already know when, right? While, okay. This is what we did yesterday, when, uh -huh. and while, any idea, while, the meaning of while, so you can mientras. understand, mientras, uh -huh. very mientras. good, mientras, mientras dormías, where you were sleeping, this is the name of a movie, very nice, until, you remember until, 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 no, 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 no meaning, hasta, 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 hasta que me Ah, okay, let's say until, right? until. Next, as soon as, do you remember? Más pronto posible. Ah, very good. Más pronto posible, tan pronto como. Aha, those are some other meanings for as soon as. Very good, Frank. Things. Desde. Este, very good. As long as. Tan largo como. Okay, okay, well, in this case, in this case, uh, when you say long, in this case, it's it's largo. Uh -huh. but mm -hmm. you see, we have as as in, in the middle, okay? So, ahí ya no se traduce eh, largo. como largo, okay? Mm -hmm. eh, mientras que, okay. okay? You can give this uh, meaning for this as long as, okay? Mientras que, other, eh, mientras que. Okay, another siempre que. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, those are the clauses that we're going to use today. I said, listen to the pronunciation. Before, after, as, when, while, until, as soon as, since, as long as. Okay, so... Talking about the ceremonies or the, 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 the traditions in Japan, when you give, okay, when you are describing events, describing a festivity, a ceremony or whatever you want, you can mm -hmm. use these Which words one? at the beginning of the sentence, okay? It says, it is usually introduced Look, so that means that they are at the beginning, okay, sometimes. And when that happens, when you start the sentence with one adverbial, okay, so you need comma, okay? This is when you write. When you speak, don't worry, okay? When you speak, you don't have to use that, okay? But at the, when you write, yes, you need a comma. So example number one, okay? Dalila, can you please read examples? When people get, get married, mm -hmm. married in Japan, mm -hmm. they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Repeat, at a, a shrine. shrine. Excellent, very good. Look, right. what is that verbial? Is when, okay? Continue, Dali. Number two. After the food is served. Mm -hmm. served. The guest guide the give 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 mm -hmm. the guest speeches speeches the guest guide speeches or sing songs sing songs ah sing songs. so this is the, uh, the this is the the ceremony already I'm not the ceremony the party after okay so you say after next please before the guests leave. Mm -hmm. The bride and groom give the present. Okay, very good. You see, what is the point here? Thank you, Dali. When you start the sentence with these words, before, after, when, while, and this, okay? You need to separate the sentences, right? With a comma. You need to separate the sentence with a comma. If you only say, hey, Gabby, Gabby, yes, teacher, when people get married in Japan, and Gabby, uh huh, <laughs> what else? No, nada, solo eso. Ah, come on, teacher. <laughs> it sounds incomplete. So, when you start a sentence with when, 
after, before, while, since. You need to add a complement, okay? So you need to have two sentences, okay? If you only use the first part, the sentence, the idea is incomplete, okay? So this is when you use a, okay? When, after, before, and you need a comma. And after this, you need a complete sentence, okay? What is a complete sentence? Subject, verb, and complement. Okay, this is the stuff here, right? So that's it here. Well, this is the, 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 the information for the comma, okay? Teacher, what happens when you uh, use after, I'm sorry, uh, when you use before, after, as, when, since, in the middle of the sentence? Well, guys, when you use it in the middle of the sentence, you don't need a comma. The comma is used only when you start the sentence with an adverbial close to time, okay? But when you use it in the middle, no. Let's go over the two examples, okay? Araceli, please read example number one. I will start when I when I am ready. Uh-huh. Very good. What is the, the adverbial close of time? When, when I am ready. Do I need commas? No commas because the word is in the middle. Okay. Next example, Araceli, please. Cada vez que, whenever. Okay. Cada vez que, whenever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whenever I think of that bit, <laughs> my eyes get misty. Oh, Araceli, you are so romantic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whenever I think of Brad Pitt, comma. Ah, I need a comma. Why? Because I am starting, okay, the sentence with an adverbial close of time. Si yo solo digo, whenever I think of Brad Pitt. Ay, cada vez que veo a Brad Pitt, Carlita, ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué pasa? Oh, nada, nada. Yeah. The idea is incomplete, okay? You are not, you're not mentioning, you're not meaning anything, okay? So, every time that you start a sentence with until, before, okay, um, eh, as soon as, etc., you need a comma to separate two sentences, right? And the other one, okay, is in the middle. You don't need a comma to separate the sentences, right? That's it. So what are the words that we're gonna use? Before, after, as, when, while, until. Teacher, is there a, a, a clue, a pista? ¿Cómo voy a empezar la oración? No, it depends on what you want to say. Okay. For example, you want to say, ay, mientras me estaba bañando, mi mamá entró, hombre. You want to tell me that. So you start while. Okay. While I was taking a shower, coma, my mother entered to the bathroom. Okay. Well, you see, you use while. If you want to use Okay, for example, things. Right? Desde que te conocí, mi mundo cambió. How do you say that, Carlita Aguilar? <laughs> Desde que te conocí, mi mundo cambió. Uh -huh. How do you say that? Um, you start um, with this one, sing, right? Yes, huh? since I met you. Uh -huh. Coma. Ma, if you are writing, coma. Uh, right? coma if you speak, don't say it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, my word chain. Ah, oh, completely. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, since repeat, uh -huh. repeat the sentence. Since I, since I met you, comma. Uh, mm -hmm. My word 
change. Mm -hmm. Okay, my my world changed. Okay, very good. Or you my see? life. Yeah. Or your life changed. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see, you started with since. Okay, so we can change, right, the position. This is not mandatory at the beginning, at the beginning. No, you can change the different words at the beginning or in the middle of the sentence, okay? That's it. So this is what we have here. And I remember I sent a, this to you. Let me check, okay? A, give me a second. These are the exercises that I sent, okay, for you. Can you see the exercises? Yes? Can you see them? No. No? no. Oh, okay. 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 So I need to open it here. So it's here. I think you can see it right now. Okay? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. So look here. You have here, well, some of them are in the middle, some others are at the beginning, okay? But I want you to use is to use the words very, very well. Before, until, after, as soon as, whenever, and when, okay? Those are the ones that we have to use here, okay? The number one, it says, I always take a bath. I go to bed. You have two sentences. I always take a bath, I go to bed. What do you think is the correct, okay, adverb of time? I always take a bath before I go to bed. I always take a bath until I go to bed. I always take a bath after I go to bed, as soon as I go to bed, whenever I go to bed, or when I go to bed. Okay, what do you think is the correct uh, the correct word for this one? Before. 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 Mm -hmm. before. Ah, before. Before. So this is what you have to do here. Look before. Look. So read the sentence, please, Sinia. Complete sentence. Mm -hmm. Sinia, hello. Hola. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, Sinia. Read the sentence now that we have completed. I always take a bath before I go to bed. Okay, very good, okay. Now, teacher, I want to change it. Change it. Ah, huh? change it, yes, change the position. Okay, ah, can you change the position? Ahora yo quiero que ese before vaya antes. ¿Cómo sería? Can you please tell me? Before I go to bed, before, uh -huh, I go to bed. What, what do I need now? Comma. Comma. Uh -huh. uh -huh, very good. Comma. I always take a bath. I always, I always take, uh -huh, a bath. take a bath. Very good. Okay. You see? So, teacher, can you change the sentences in both ways? Yes. And the meaning is the same? Yes, there is no problem, okay? What is the only difference? The coma. Mm -hmm. And the position, right? Let's go over the second one, okay? Will you? Okay, this is for uh, the second sentence, right? Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Giovanni, read the second sentence, please. Will you why? Here, mm -hmm. wait, wait, wait. Uh huh. Will you wait here? Mm -hmm. I am ready. Okay, very good. So, will you wait here before, until, after, as soon as, whenever, when? Maybe. What is the corresponding? Uh huh. Maybe as soon as. As soon as I am ready, okay. Yes. And when you say no, 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 no. Maybe ah, while. No, no, no. No. Until. <laughs> uh huh. So. Esperará. Me, me, will you wait here? This is like me esperarías. Me podrías esperar. Me esperas aquí. Uh huh. Me esperas aquí, and then. So until you. Until I'm ready. Until. 
until, okay, do I have another one that I can use? Because I can use another one. When I can use I another when. one. When? Excellent. When. Very good. Uh -huh. When, until, or when. Very, very good. Okay. That's it. Now, read the question. Will you wait here when I'm ready? Will you wait here until I'm ready? Right? This is a question you can ask a person, right? You say, oh, I haven't, I haven't uh, get, get, uh, changed my clothes. Will you wait here? When I'm ready? Oh, sure. Take your time. Go ahead. Okay. This is the second one. Number three. Okay. Let's read the number three. That's it. Uh, let's see here. Franklin, read the number three, please. I was not at home. Mm -hmm. He came to see me. Okay. I was not at home. He came to see me. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what is the word that you can use here? I was not at home. When? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. What is it? I'm sorry. I Thank you. When? When. Ah, very good. Eh? Very good. Eh? I was not at home when he came to see me. Right? That's it. If I want to change it, I want to change the position. How do I change the position? One volunteer who wants to change the position of when, please. When, when she came. 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 I, uh -huh. I was not at home. Excellent, very good. When he came to see me, I was not at home. I was not at home when he came to see me. What's the difference? Only the position. And obviously, when you start the sentence like that, is with a comma, okay? That's it. These are what we call adverbials of time, okay? But don't worry about the name, okay? Just think about these words. Before, after, until, while, as soon as, as, Okay, the words that I presented before. Next, okay, this is the number uh, four. That's it. Uh, can you please read it, Carlita Beatriz? Do not. Do not disturb me. Mm -hmm. I'm busy with my work. Okay, uh, repeat, busy. Ah, busy. Okay. Do, do not disturb me. I am busy with my work. Okay, very good. So what is the correct word, guys? Mm. I don't disturb me. Do not disturb me. Before, I am busy with my work. Until, I am busy with my work. After, I am busy with my work. As soon as, I am busy with my work. When? Whenever or when? When. When? Oh, very good. So read the sentence completely, Carlita. Do not disturb me when I am busy with my work. Okay, very good. Change the position, Carlita. When I am busy with my work, comma, do not disturb me. Excellent. You see, this is what you have to do here. Okay, so we have the other sentences that we have here. Okay, for this. And this is going to be your little assignment for tomorrow. At the beginning, okay, at the beginning of the, of the class, we are going to go over some practice, okay, once again. And we are going to check, okay, your exercises, okay. Thank you very much for the people that sent uh, to me the, the previous uh, homework. Acuérdense que todas las tareas que se dejan valen. Ok, <clears throat> eh, me mandaron las tareas eh, con los eh, requests, ¿se acuerdan? Can you, para el coworker, el man, el, eh, quiero ver quién más, coworker, to your boss, and what was the other the one? The client. Um, the client, uh -huh. very good. And I checked it, right? Es la nueva modalidad, ahí yo les reenvío y ahí va corregido si es que, ok, hay 
eh, correcciones, right? Así que, thank you very much for that. Y ahora pues espero mañana que todos tengan completa esa, esa worship, right? That's it. Tomorrow we continue with that. We are going to do some other exercises. Okay, remember when, until, as soon as, okay, eh, whenever, okay, things, okay, son adverbials of time. Pueden ir al principio, en medio. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Bueno, well, si van al principio, ¿qué le agrego? Com coma. Uh -huh. Very good, a coma. To separate two sentences. Ok, that's it. Y eso es para describir cualquier cosa que usted quiera. That's it. My friends, I have uh, this, uh, the, the time for the attendance. I don't know if you have questions about it. Ok. You can listen to the audio in the in the video, okay, and other examples in the in the right. uh, in the platform. Uh -huh. And you can start doing the exercises, okay? Recuerden que esta sección es la tercera. So para el jueves ya tiene que estar hecho section one, section two, section three. Mm -hmm. Empezando, terminando, si es posible, el midterm, ¿ok? El curso, el examen de medio curso, right? Questions? No questions? No? Ok, so ready to say present, please. Yesenia Iveta Barca Vázquez. Ok, absent. Eh, Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Present, very good. Verónica Beatriz Celso. Absent. Eh, Osmania Tseú de León. Present. Ok, very good. Eh, Vania Itzelderas. I'm here. Very good. Eh, eh, Blanca Estela Marroquín. Absent. Ok, next. Eh, Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present, present. Present, very good, Franklin. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes. Present. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes. Present. Dalil Estela Silva. Present. María Araceli González. Present. Cinia Elizabeth Mejía. Cinia, hello. Present. Bueno, present, ok, very good. Juan Carlos Molina. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Claudia Eliana Cazún. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales. Brendita, hello, is there? Present, teacher. Present, Brendita Herbert Iván Martínez. Present. Karen Lizeth Reyes. Present. Carmen Elena Cornejo. Present. En Francisco Isaac Cabrera. Okay. Present. Very good. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining my class. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Okay. That's it with see you. other practice. Have a beautiful morning, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care.